Hi, let's solve this without calculator. You're welcome to my channel. Okay, we are going to simplify this so that we can solve it uh, without calculator, without stress, okay? Now, 9 to the power of 5 can be written as 9 raised to the power of 4 plus 1, right? Plus, this can be written as 9 raised to the power of 4. Okay, plus 9 to the power of 3 can be written as 9 raised to the power of 2 plus 1. Plus 9 raised to the power of 2. Plus 9 to the power of 1. Plus 9 to the power of 0 is equal to what? Okay. Now, this is equal to 9 to the power of 4 multiplied by 9 to the power of 1. Yes, because when you have a to the power of x plus n or plus y, okay, this is same thing as a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of 1 using our words, our law of exponents. Okay, so plus 9 to the power of 4, okay? Now, plus, we are going to expand this the same way. Though, so we are going to write 9 to the power of 2 multiplied by 9 to the power of 1 plus 9 to the power of 2. Let me group them. We have 9 to the power of 2 and 9 to the power of 2. All right. Plus this same thing as 9 plus 1. Recall that any number to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Okay, so we have to factorize 9 to the power of 4 out from here. So we have 9 to the power of 4 bracket. When the whole of this is divided by this, we are going to have 9 to the power of 1 remaining. Okay, so we have 9 plus 9 to the power of 4 divided by 9 to the power of 4 will give us 1. All right, plus here we are going to factorize 9 to the power of 2 out, okay? Now, when this is divided by this, this we cancel this and we are left with 9 to the power of 1. So we have 9 plus 9 squared divided by 9 squared we give us 1. Plus 9 plus 1 we give us 10. So we have 9 to the power of 4 bracket 10 plus 9 to the power of 2, bracket 10, plus 10 is equal to what? All right, if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell, so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. In fact, give us a thumbs up if, thumbs up if you're actually enjoying what we are doing. Okay, so... By me looking, you can see that we have 10, 10, 10. So let's factorize 10 out. So we are going to write 10. We open our bracket. When this is divided by this, you are going to have 9 to the power of 4 left. Plus, when this is divided by 10, you are going to have 9 to the power of 2 left. Right? Now, plus, when this is divided by this, you have 1 is equal to 0. Recall that calculator is not what allowed. So we are going to do this without the use of calculator. All right. So we are going to figure out how to keep simplifying this. Now, this can be written as 9, square, 9 to the power of 4 can be written as 9 to the power of 2 plus 2, right? Then we have plus 9 to the power of 2 plus 1, okay, is equal to what? Not 0, sorry. We are looking for its what? Its value. So we have 10 bracket now this same thing as 9 to the power of 2 multiplied by 9 to the power of 2 right yes plus 9 to the power of 2 plus 1 okay this is equal to what so we have 10 we open our bracket again so we're going to factorize 9 to the power of 2 out so when we do that we have 9 to the power of 2 when this is divided by this we have 9 to the power of 2 remaining all right now, plus when this and this is divided by this, we have only one remaining, right? All right. And we have plus one. Don't forget that we have plus one there. Okay. So this is what we are going to have. So we have 10 into... So 9 squared is 81. 9 squared is 81 plus 1. Then plus 1 again. Okay. So this is equal to 10 into... We have 81 multiplied by 82 plus 1 okay all right now like i said we are trying to do this without the use of calculator 
So we have 10. We open our brackets. This same thing as 81 can be written as, because we want to solve this as mental maths. So we want to solve it in such a way that it will be easy. It one can be expressed as 80 times. Um, 80 plus 1, right? So we now have 10 brackets, 80 plus 1. Okay. Now multiplied by 82 is same thing as 80 plus 2. Multiplied by 80 plus 2. All right. Then plus 1 is equal to what? So we have 10. Um, I think we need to clean this place because I don't want to be writing that. All right. So I'm going to repeat what I've written here. 10 into 80 plus 1 multiplied by 80 plus 2 plus 1. Okay. Now, is equal to what? So we have 10 into 80 times 80 will give us 6,400, right? Yeah, it's now easy for us to solve. Plus 80 times 2 will give us um, 160. Plus 1 times 80 will give us 80. Plus 1 times 2 will give us 2. Okay, sorry. Don't forget our plus 1 is equal to what? I don't know why I keep writing zero. I don't know why. Okay, so we have 10. We open our brackets. So we are going to solve the whole of this now. 6,400 plus 160 plus 80 plus, I'm going to add three together. Okay, now we are going to bring down three, right? Then six plus eight will give us 14. We write four and carry one. Add it to this become six. So this is what we have, 10 multiplied by what? 6643. And this is equal to, that is we have 10 multiplied by 6643. And when you are multiplying any number by 10, just add zero in front, right? So we now write 6,430. So this becomes a solution. You can use your calculator to press the whole of this. This is exactly what you are going to get. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.